Uh, before we uh, start on the cabinets and the drawers, I noticed in the reference that we have this little lip in the back here, and I want to totally replicate that just to be thorough here. And we'll make it so it's an option as well, right? Um, all right, so I'm going to move this down because remember that the UV node that we're making here uh, works off of connectivity, so it'll loop through multiple objects, which is great. All right, so I want to get the top prim from the counter here, and we already have a node that does that, so I'm just going to copy this wrangle node here, and that'll get me that top prim, which is great. And then I, would, I really just want to get a little sliver off the back here. So let's uh, convert it and do our carve trick on a nerve surface. So I'm going to convert this over to a nerve surface, interpolate through holes. Beautiful. And we'll do a carve. So we'll carve that guy up, and I believe it's the second V. Yeah. And we just want to keep the outside here. And yeah, there we go. I mean, you could totally do the, the first V too, right? And then just keep the uh, inside. This one just worked better. <laughs> so, tomato, tomato, right? All right, so um, I already went ahead and added a lip thickness to the parameters here. We're actually going to also need a switch over here as well. So let's go and add that. I'm going to actually add a toggle. And I'm going to call this a so CLU uh, use lip. And we'll call the label use lip with a question mark. Cool. So I'll use that to let the user decide if they want the lip there or not. And then we're also going to need one more for the height of the lip. So let's add this guy. So we'll say COU lip height, lip uh, height. And the range for that, we'll do the 0 to 1 or 0 0.1, or sorry, 0 0.01 um, to, I don't know, 0.25, something like that. Again, you can change these. Usually at the end, I'll do like polish pass. I'm going to set this to point. Zero 0.5 looks pretty good so far. All right, so let's uh, take care of the lip thickness here. I'm going to paste this into there. And you'll notice that it actually doesn't work right away because we need to do one minus. Remember, this is a percentage of that surface. All right, so one minus that will give us the ability to set the thickness of this lip here. Those, those uh, ranges look like they're working pretty good, so... Perfect. And then let's do a poly extrude node. There we go. And I want to set the height from this lip height here. So let's copy that and we'll paste it into there. Oh, and we also need to convert it back to a polygon. It's cool that the poly extrude was taking care of that for us, though. Yeah, so there we go. So we got our lip height. All set up for us, beautiful. Uh, in this case, we don't really need to include the back. In, in fact, I don't want to include the back. So we don't need to turn that on in the poly extrude. All right, so let's use the, um, the, the toggle here. And so I'm going to drop down a switch and just drop in a null node here. That way, if the user wants to turn it off, then uh, it'll just use the null node and won't merge anything in. Basically, so we'll just drop that emerge node here now and wire this guy in like so. I'll wire this guy in. And uh, yeah, so let's set the default on this. Oh, let's actually set it first. So I'm just going to copy this. So let's go make sure that the default on the toggle is set to one. I want it on by default. We'll call this the lip switch. Cool. So now we have the ability to choose that or not. And let's check our UVs just to make sure it's all good. Yep. That looks good. Beautiful. And uh, yeah, we are on our way now. So now we have a lip and we have the option to add it or not. So first variation, <laughs> apart from all the dimensions and stuff. So, all right. So now let's go and uh, build all the drawers and the doors and stuff like that. Thanks so much.